हॅलो आय एम श्री कृष्ण कोल्हार फ्रॉम विद्याप्रतिष्ठान कमल नयन बजाज इन्स्टिट्यूट ऑफ इंजिनिअरिंग अँड टेक्नॉलॉजी बारामती आय वेलकम यू ऑल इन दिस व्हिडिओ कोर्स ऑन सिग्नल्स अँड सिस्टीम्स इन दिस व्हिडिओ वी विल लर्न अबाउट इंट्रोडक्शन टू सिस्टीम्स अँड द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ सिस्टीम्स सो टू स्टार्ट विथ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल डिफाईन द सिस्टीम सो अ सिस्टीम इज अ डिव्हाइस ऑर an algorithm that operates on an input signal and according to some well defined rule it produces an another signal which is called the output signal so here we can see in this diagram this is the input signal which is applied to this system it uh, does some process on it and produces an output signal so the examples of systems can be uh, motor amplifier uh, which amplifies input signal filter boiler digital filters like fir ir etc now the systems can be classified as continuous time and discrete time systems static and dynamic systems causal and non causal systems linear and non linear systems time invariant and time variant systems and stable and unstable systems out of this six we will see first four in this video so to we will start with continuous time and discrete time systems a system is called continuous time system if if it has input as a continuous time signal and it produces output which is also a continuous time signal and it can be mathematically represented as y of t is equal to transformation of x of t t stands for transformation similarly we can define discrete time system which has input as discrete time signal and which produces output Uh, as output uh, discrete time signal and it can be represented as y of n is equal to transformation of x of n then second is static in dynamic system so a system is called static or memoryless if its output at any instant depends on the input at that instant but not on past or future values of input otherwise the system is said to be dynamic or with memory let's take some examples now here y of t is equal to x square of t so for any value of t y of t depends on present value of input similarly y of let's take another example y of n is equal to n x of n here also y of n depends on present value of x of n not on past or future values of x of n so the system is called static or memoryless system now let's take another two examples where y of t is equal to d by dt of x of t that is differentiation of input so y of t depends on present and past values of input again in second example y of n is equal to x of n minus 1 we can see that if we substitute n equal to 0 y of 0 will be equal to x of minus 1 so present output depends on past value of input so the system is called or uh, dynamic system or it is also called as system with memory now the next one is causal and non causal system a causal system is one for which output at any instant time t depends on present and past values of uh, input but not on future value of input these systems are known as non anticipative systems a non causal system is one whose output depends on future values of uh, input the examples can be let's take y of t it is equal to x of t plus x of t minus 1 now we have to decide whether it is causal or non causal so let's substitute first of all t equal to 0 so y of 0 is x of 0 plus x of minus 1 again uh, substituting t equal to 1 we will get y of 1 will be equal to which will be equal to x of 1 plus x of 0 or uh, for t equal to minus 1 y of minus 1 will be x of minus 1 plus x of minus 2 here we can see that all the outputs y of 0 y of minus 1 and y of minus 1 they are depending on present and past values of input but not on future values of input so the system is causal system now let, let's take one more example uh, y of t it is equal to x of t plus 3 plus x square of t now here for t equal to 0 y of 0 is equal to x of 3 plus x square of 0 for t equal to 1 y of 1 will be this and for t equal to minus 1 y of minus 1 
is this one. Now here we can uh, observe these three equations and we can easily say that y of 0, y of 1 and y of minus 1, they depend on future values of inputs such as x of 3, x of 4 and x of 2 respectively. So the system is non-causal as it depends on future values of input. Let's take one more example uh, for discrete time system. Here y of n is equal to n x of n plus x of n minus 3. So here for n equal to 0, we get y of 0 as this one. For n equal to 1, we get y of 1 equal to x of 1 plus x square of minus 2. And for n equal to minus 1, we get y of minus 1 as this one. So from all these three equations, we can easily state that y of 0, y of 1 and y of minus 1, they are dependent on present and past values of input, not on future values of input. So the system is causal one. Now let, let's uh, see this example where y of t is integration of uh, x of tau d tau and the limits are from minus infinity to 2t. Now let, uh, let us assume that uh, integration x of tau d tau it is equal to z of t and for t equal to 0 y of 0 is given by integration minus infinity to 0 x of tau d tau which is equal to z of 0 minus z of minus infinity. But for t equal to 1, y of 1 is equal to z of 2 minus z of minus infinity. Now here, y of 1 depends on z of 2 which is nothing but future value of input. So the system is non-causal. So all these are the examples of causal and non-causal systems. Now we will go for linear and non-linear system. A system is said to be linear if it satisfies the superposition principle. Now what is that superposition principle? It states that the response to a weighted sum of inputs must be equal to weighted sum of outputs corresponding to each of the individual inputs. Now we will uh, il illustrate that with the help of mathematical expression. So for continuous time systems, transformation on a x1 of t plus b x2 of t, it is equal to a transformation of x1 of t plus b transformation of x2 of t, where a transformation of x1 of t is nothing but y1 of t and b transformation of x2 of t is nothing but y2 of t. For discrete time systems, we can write equations as uh, we have written for continuous time systems. Now let's illustrate this with the help of an example. So this is the example. Uh, the equation is given, differential equation is given and what we'll do, we'll consider input as x1 of t and corresponding output as y1 of t and we will rewrite this differential equation and we will get the equation shown in uh, uh, ppt. So d by, d by dt of y1 of t plus 3t y1 of t it is equal to t square x1 of t. Now let us uh, assume that input is x2 of t and corresponding output is y2 of t. So the differential equation is modified as uh, d by dt of y2 of t plus 3t y2 of t plus t square x of t. Now uh, we will multiply equation 1 with a and equation 2 with b and add them to obtain this equation. Now if we will rewrite this equation what we will get d by dt of a y1 of t plus b y2 of t which is nothing but the weighted sum of outputs plus 3t a y1 of t plus b y2 of t which is also better sum of outputs which is equal to t square a x1 of t plus b x2 of t which is nothing but better sum of inputs. So from above equation we can note that better sum of inputs to the system produces an output which is also equal to better sum of outputs corresponding to individual inputs. So the system will be called as a linear system. Now let's take another example. Now the differential equation is given. Now for input x1 of t and output y1 of t, we can rewrite that differential equation as sh shown in equation 1. Again we will consider an input x2 of t and the corresponding output y2 of t. The differential equation can be uh, written as uh, shown in equation 2. Now we will combine them. We will multiply equation a, uh, equation 1 with a and equation 2 with b and add them together. So the, we will get this equation. Now we will rewrite this equation as d by dt of a y1 of t plus b y2 of t which is nothing but weighted sum of output plus 2 into a y1 of t plus b y2 of t it is nothing but weighted sum of output but which is equal to a x 
x1 square of t plus b x2 square of t which is not a linear function of weighted sum of inputs so here we can see that as the sum of inputs is not a linear function the superposition principle is not satisfied and therefore the system is nonlinear so in this lecture we have seen uh, the continuous time and discrete time systems first of all we have seen definition of systems then continuous time and discrete time system static and uh, dynamic system then causal and non causal system and lastly linear and non linear systems and the reference i have taken it from uh, p ramesh babu's book on signals and systems thank you